thing. Oh, shoot. All right, all right. Can you hear me, Anne? Can you give me a thumbs up if you can hear me? Okay, cool. All right. It's so weird practicing without any music by yourself in here, I just have to say. All right. <laughs> Welcome to yoga uh, this afternoon. Again, we're gonna start out on our backs. And um, quick story, I have been using these power cards oh, for the last couple months. They're just affirmation power cards. And I came in here and I thought, okay, I'm going to pull one. And I pulled adaptability. So obviously we're all adapting to do new changes in our life, a new lifestyle, working from home, and so forth. So I get the camera and everything set up. Obviously, I'm adapting to that. And I open my book and I left my sequence at home. So we're going to adapt to a little third eye practice uh, today. <laughs> Anyhow, so you're all on your backs. And if you want, you can take Supta Baddha Konasana. If you just want to have your feet on the mat with the knees knocked in, that's good too. And maybe just rest the hands uh, down on the abdomen. Start noticing your breath. Take a moment. Notice your connection to the mat beneath you. Taking a deep breath in. Feeling the body as you inhale. And then take a long, slow exhale out. And just notice how the body feels on the exhale. Start following the inhales and the exhales, coming to a continuous, smooth, even breath that you're feeling down under your hands. As you inhale, the belly rises, the ribs expand. And on the exhale, the belly draws towards the spine. Settle in, letting go of any thoughts. Take a few moments to just reconnect to the stability that resides in each of us. On the inhales, feel a sense of calm. And on each exhale, have a sense of letting go. Go through a few rounds of this deep, calming breath. Notice the ease and the stillness of the breath. Our affirmation today is adaptability. Adaptability is my power. I am adaptable. I am flexible. I am easy going. I welcome change with ease and an open mind, I am adaptable. Maybe reflect back on a time when you were adaptable and easygoing. It could just be the last six weeks. You've just been nothing but adaptable. How did that make you feel? And think of the times that you just let go. You just went with the flow. You adapted to the situation and made the best of it.
we'll go ahead and set an intention for our practice this afternoon. It could be an intention of adaptability. And of course, with adaptability, you need patience, which is what we talked about last week. Or maybe we just want to send up some gratitude and thanks that we're now into the month of May. Things are changing again. And how are we going to handle that? So we'll seal that intention with a cleansing breath. Take a nice inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. That felt so good. Let's do one more. Inhale. Exhaling side out. And then softly blink your eyes open. Let's take the knees and draw them into the chest. Flex your feet, wrapping the arms around the shins. Give yourself a nice squeeze. And then gently rock from side to side, massaging out the spine. And then coming back to stillness, we're going to leave that right knee drawn in and send the left leg out long, taking a nice stretch, pressing the low back into the mat, drawing the knee towards the chest. Coming back to the ease of the breath. And then take the left hand to the right knee, draw it across the body gently for a supine twist, and extend your right arm out long. You can keep your gaze at the ceiling or you can turn your head if that's not too much, it's early in the practice. Breathing in to any tension you might be feeling. And then we're going to roll back onto the back and you're going to take the right ankle to the top of the left knee and we're going to come into a supine figure four. So just let the weight of the knee kind of open that right hip. Keep your arms beside you. Nice even breath. Draw the right knee in and bring the left knee in to meet it. Wrap your arms around the shins again. Give yourself a squeeze. Gently rocking. Coming back to center. This time we leave the left knee in and let that right leg come out long. Drawing the knee into the chest. Nice even breath. Again, noticing the stability of the connection to the mat. And then we take the right hand to the left knee, draw it across the body, extending your left arm out, keeping your gaze at the ceiling, or gently taking the left chin over towards the shoulder, gazing at your left hand. Starting out nice and slow and gentle. Rolling back on to the back. We'll come to that supine, or yeah, supine figure four. Take the left ankle to the top of the right knee. Let that left leg fall open, opening that left hip. And then one more time, bring the left knee in, draw the right knee in, just a little squeeze. And then we're gonna roll over onto our right side and we're gonna press up meeting in tabletop. So when we find ourselves in tabletop, we stack the shoulders over the wrists and the hips over the knees. And we'll move into some cat cows. So on an inhale, we're gonna drop the belly and look up, coming into cow. And then we exhale, round the spine, chin the chest, coming into cow. Inhale, drop the belly for cow. 
exhaling round for cat. Let's take a few more cat cows on your own breath. Going through one more round of cat-cow, we'll meet in neutral spine. From tabletop, let's move into sunbird. So extending that right arm out long like you're shaking a hand. We'll press the left toes back. So draw in through the core and stay nice and stable here. You can stay here or you can lift that left leg coming into sunbird. Nice even breath. Bring your right hand down. You still have the leg lifted. We're gonna swing the left leg to the back right corner of the mat and look over your right shoulder. This is my favorite stretch I included in everything. I love this C shape in the body. And then go ahead and draw that left knee in. We're all back in tabletop. Moving to the other side, we're gonna extend the left arm out and press the right toes back. So setting it up, draw in through the core. Again, you can stay here or you can lift that right foot off the mat. Coming into the breath. Bringing the left hand down, we'll move into our C shape on the other side. So that right foot comes to the back left corner of the mat looking over the left shoulder, enjoying a nice side body stretch, finding the ease in the breath. And then we'll bring that right knee back in and we're in tabletop. So let's find our first down dog by curling the toes under, start lifting the hips, pressing your heels towards the mat, Maybe adjusting your stance, probably need to widen it a little bit. Doesn't matter if the heels touch, but spread those fingers wide, wrist creases parallel with the front of your mat. Press through your hands, lining the ears up with the arms. Press the sits bones back and roll the thighs in, drawing the kneecaps up. And then begin to pedal out your dog. Wiggle your hips. Might need to flex your toes a little bit. I always like to kind of give my knees a little bit of a warm up here. I've got some scar tissue in there, so this kind of helps with that. So coming back, find some stillness in your dog. Let's inhale, roll forward into a high plank. We're gonna lower onto the knees. Look forward and lean forward, wrap in through those shoulders, drawing the core in, slowly lower down to the mat and release the toes. We're pressing the tops of the feet into the mat. We're gonna come into a couple of cobras. So press through the hands, inhale, lift up, cobra. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lifting up for cobra. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, come up into a baby cobra, and then let's lift the hands, pressing the tops of the feet into the mat. Nice, even breath. And then we're gonna slowly lower down, curl the toes under, come back up to the knees, lift the hips, meeting back, in downward facing dog. Taking a kindred breath, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. We'll move through some sun A's. So let's bring the toes together to touch. 
Inhale, up on the toes, bend your knees and look forward and step to the top of your mat. I'm going to switch directions. Inhaling, halfway lift, offer the heart. Exhaling, fold. Let's inhale, sweep your arms up, extended mountain. Exhale, bring the palms together, pulling them down into forward fold. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to a plank. Chaturanga or skip it. If you want, leave the vinyasa out. Nonetheless, we all meet back. Downward facing dog. Take an inhale through the nose. Exhaling through the mouth. Bringing the toes together. Inhale up on your toes. Bend your knees. Look forward and step or hop to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Offer the heart. Exhaling, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Bring the palms together to touch and draw over to the right. Side body stretch. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands. Step or float back to your plank, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhaling back, downward facing dog. Inhale up on the toes, step or float to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, exhaling fold. Inhale, your arms up, extended mountain, bringing the palms together, and then exhale to the right. Inhale, center, exhale, left. Inhale, extended mountain, exhale, pull those hands out. You can keep the knees bent into your forward fold. Inhale, nice flat back, exhale, fold. Step back to your plank, and then chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra, exhaling back, downward facing dog. One last sun A. Inhale up on the toes, step or float to the front of the mat. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Let's just take a back bend here. Nice stretch, like good morning. And then exhale, pull those hands down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands. Step or float back to your plank, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, back, down dog. Inhale, up on your toes, bend the knees, look forward. Step or float to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhaling, fold. We're going to sit your hips down and lift the arms for chair. So for chair pose, we're going to bring the weight into the heels, draw in through the core, maybe soften through the back. Make sure you're not rounding too much through the spine. Nice. You can keep the arms up, or if it bothers your shoulders, bring the hands to heart center. Finding your breath, anchoring down through the feet, feeling nice and stable. In this time where we have to be adaptable, it's also nice to find the stability. Things that we can count on. Inhale your arms up, extended mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands. Step or flip back to your plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, back, downward facing dog. Taking a breath, let's inhale through the nose. Exhaling through the mouth. Inhale, your right leg up. Exhale, draw the right knee in and don't use your ab muscles here. And then step the right foot through. Spin the back foot flat. So we've got a heel arch alignment with the feet. We're going to lift that left arm up first, 
winding up warrior two. So in warrior two, we want the knee stacked over the ankle. Make sure it's pressing out a little bit. You don't want it caving in. Be active through the back leg, especially in the knife edge of the foot. Arms parallel with the mat. Nice gaze over that front hand, feeling nice and empowered. Coming back to the breath. Let's flip the front palm, come forward and back. You're gonna to come to Peaceful Warrior. So when you come to this, make sure you still got that nice bend in the front knee and it's not falling in. Sometimes I see it fall in, press it back out. That left arm is resting gently down the back leg and gaze up at the top hand, just like you're looking up at the sun or a beautiful blue sky. From here, we're gonna straighten that right leg, thank goodness, and we're gonna to come to reverse triangle. Take an inhale, and we're gonna exhale, we're gonna reach forward with that right hand, bringing it to the inside of the right leg. So that can be a lot of places for people. It might be up at the thigh, it could be at the knee, or even down at the calf, but you're using the resistance of the leg against the hand. So you wanna have a nice straight line between the two wrists. And your gaze can either be forward or if your neck allows, up at the top hand. Inhale your arms up to a T, turn the right foot, bring your hands to your hips. We're gonna turn the heels in and bend the knees, coming into a goddess squat. Bring the hands down onto the thighs. And we're gonna draw our right shoulder to the midline and look over the left. Inhale back to center, left shoulder to midline, look over the right. Inhale, center. One more time, we're gonna draw the right shoulder forward, look over the left. Inhale, center, exhale, left shoulder forward, right back. Inhale, back to center. We're gonna straighten the legs and bring the arms up to a T. Turn your left toes towards the back of the mat and sink down, warrior two. Take an inhale and then exhale, cartwheel your hands down, step back to your plank, chaturanga, Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Always feel free to skip the vinyasa and press to down dog if you need to. So let's move to the left side. Inhale your left leg up. Exhale, draw the left knee into the ribs. Press and dome, step the left foot through. Spin that right foot flat. Lifting the right arm, windmill up, warrior two. Someday I'm gonna learn that. So again, find your pose, left knee over the left ankle, torso perpendicular to the mat, arms parallel. It's a geometry lesson, I know. Find the breath. Flip the left palm, come forward and back, reversing your warrior. So again, we're still have a nice bend in the left knee, gaze up at the top hand, right hand could be down the back or around the waist. Finding the breath. Straightening the left leg, we move to reverse triangles. So you get a little bit more of a side body stretch out of this, I feel. And then take an inhale. Exhale, bringing the back of the left hand either inside of the thigh, the knee, or the shin, wherever is the best for you. Again, you've got a nice elongation in the body. Try not to lock out the knees. Inhale, 
Inhale your arms up to a T. Turn those left toes towards the front of your mat. And then we're gonna bring the hands to the hips. So if your stance is too wide, walk your feet in, but we're still gonna have the edges of the feet, this time parallel to the edges of your mat. Take an inhale. And then exhale, Woo, let's come into a wide-legged forward fold. Bring the hands down to the mat, drawing the crown of the head down towards your mat. Option to come bringing the peace fingers out to the big toes, really drawing the crown down. Finding the breath. Nice stretch here. If you have the peace fingers around the big toes, go ahead and bring the hands back under the shoulders. Press through the hands, inhale, halfway lift. Exhaling, fold, put a micro bend in the knees, hands to the hips, inhale, coming up. We turn our right foot towards the front of the mat, bend your right knee, warrior two. Take an inhale, exhaling, cartwheel down, step back to your plank, chaturanga, inhale, up dog or cobra, exhale back, downward facing dog. Inhale, up on your toes, look forward, step or hop to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhaling, fold, we'll sit the hips down and lift your arms coming back into our chair. So again, we're gonna bring the weight into the heels. You could lift the toes and place them down. Draw in through the core. And then we'll bring our hands to heart center. Inhale, lengthen over the legs, and then exhale. We're going to twist to the right, so that left elbow is to the outside of the right knee. Elbows are in a nice north-south position. Hands at the center of the chest. This could mean for you that your feet are a little bit wider, and the elbow is in between the knees, and that's cool too. Finding the breath. Let's bring the torso back to center. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, let's twist to the left. So again, the right elbow is in the center of the knees or to the outside of the left knee. Fighting your chair. Coming back to the breath. One more breath. Let's bring the torso back to center. Inhale your arms up, extended mountain. Exhaling forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands. Step or flow back to your plank. Chaturanga. Inhaling up dog or cobra. Exhaling back, finding your downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg up. Exhale, step that right foot through, left foot spins flat, lift the left arm up, windmill up, warrior two. We'll hold for a few breaths. Let's lift the front palm, come forward and back, reversing your warrior. Again, being mindful of the pose, making sure that front knee is still bent. We're engaging through the back leg. Straightening that right leg, reverse triangle. Take an inhale, exhale, finding your triangle pose. It's almost, you feel like a clock in this pose. We've got our hands at six and 12. Coming back to the breath. Inhale your arms up to a T, turn the right toes in, bring your hands to the hips, walk your heels in one time, bend the knees. Nice. So we're gonna to come to goddess arms here, finding the breath. Take an inhale, exhale, bring the elbows to kiss as Adrienne would say, and then coming back out on the exhale. 
Bring the elbows together. Coming back out. One more time, elbows draw in. Coming back out, finding goddess for three, two, one. We're going to straighten out to a T. Turn those left toes towards the back of your mat. Bend your knee, warrior two. Take an inhale. Exhale, coming to side angle. Left arm to the thigh. Bring that right arm up and over the ear. Nice. You can bring that left hand down to the mat if that's where you are. And we're only taking one of these, so if you prefer to bind here, you can bind. We haven't done a whole lot. I guess we have started some twisting. Or if you just want to half bind, bring that right arm behind, peel the chest open. I actually sometimes feel like the half bind feels better than the full bind. If you did take that bind, let's go ahead and release it, coming back to side angle. Inhaling the arms up, sink down, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, exhale, cartwheel down, step back to your plank, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra, exhale back, downward facing dog. Taking a kindred breath, inhale, exhale through the mouth. Left side. Inhale the left leg up, exhale, step that left foot through, right foot flat. Lift your right arm up, windmill up, warrior two, binding the pose. Whew. Feeling some heat in here, we don't even have any on. <laughs> Let's flip the front palm, come forward and back, reverse. Again, make sure that you still got the nice bend in the front knee. It might be burning by now. A few breaths will straighten it. One more breath. Inhale, straighten that left leg. Reach back a little bit further. Reverse triangle. Take an inhale. Exhale, find your triangle pose. Bring the back of that left hand inside of the leg. turning your chest up towards the ceiling. Same options here. I guess, well, I guess that was inside angle. I was gonna say you could bind here. If you wanna bind twice, you got that option. Inhale your arms up to a T, turn the left toes towards the front of your mat, bring the hands to the hips. Coming to a wide-legged forward fold, we leave the sides of the feet parallel to the mat. Take an inhale. And then exhale, fold forward, bringing the hands down. We'll add just a little twist here. So we're gonna bring the right hand under the chin and then lift that left arm up, gaze up at the left thumb. Coming back to the breath. Bringing the left hand down again, we'll center it under the chin. And extend your right arm up, gaze up at the right thumb. Bringing your right hand down, both hands are under the shoulders. Inhale, halfway left, flat in the back. I love how this feels. Exhale, fold, micro bend in the knees, hands to the hips, gently lifting up, turning your right toes back towards that front of the mat, coming down. Warrior two. Take an inhale. Exhale, right form to the thigh. Left arm comes up and over the ear, finding your extended side angle. So make sure that you're not dumping into this shoulder. Nice and straight here. Shoulder stacked over the elbow. This left arm is up and over the ear. I just love opening the side body. And then if you want, you can take that um, half bind or a full bind if you're into that but you can bring that arm behind the back, gazing up at the ceiling, really turning that shoulder back. Your heart is shining up. One more breath. If you're in the bind, release it, coming back to side angle. Inhale your arms back up, exhale, sink down, warrior two. Take an inhale. 
exhale, cartwheel your hands down, step back to your plank, you can go to down dog or you can chaturanga, inhaling up dog or cobra, exhaling back, downward facing dog. Bringing the toes together to touch. Inhale up on the toes, bend the knees, look forward, step or hop to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhaling, fold, we'll sit the hips down again, and then inhale your arms up, chair. <laughs> this old girl is out of breath. We haven't been doing enough yoga. <laughs> Let's bring the hands to heart center. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist to the right. And then if you want to open the arms here, go ahead. So you can shift the gaze up to that uh, right thumb. Sometimes I feel like it really feels nice to open here. We'll bring our hands to heart center torso to center. Let's take a nice big stretch, extended mountain. Exhale, bring the hands back to heart center, finding our chair. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist to the left. Right elbow to the outside of the left knee or inside, wherever you need to be. And then you have that option to open the arms, spread your wings. One more breath, bringing the hands to heart center, torso to center. Inhale your arms up, extended mountain, exhaling, fold. We're gonna toe heel the feet apart, toes to the edges of the mat, heels are coming in. So we're gonna to come to malasana. This might be your malasana. This might be your malasana, or this might be your malasana. So let's just take a nice opportunity. I always sort of think of Malasa as a rest. Feels good to open my hips, sit up nice and tall. Come back to the breath. Notice where it is. Did it come up into the chest? Let's bring it back down into the ribs. We're gonna bring the hands down, straighten the legs, toe heel the feet back in. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step or float back. We're gonna stay in plank, so hold here. So we're gonna hold this plank. We've not done much with abs. So you wanna press the heels back. If you need to drop down onto the knees, I'll turn to the side. Feel free. Find your breath, noticing that uh, shoulders stacked over the wrist, heels pressing towards the back of the room. Nice long spine from the back of the head right down to the heels. And then from here, we're going to slowly lower down through Chaturanga and release the toes. Go ahead and bring the left forearm first. Right forearm comes on top. Let's just take crocodile for a few breaths. Resting the forehead onto the arms. Come back to the breath. This is a great pose to find where the breath resides in your body. So we're gonna cut, take a couple of locust poses here. I'm gonna move my cup. So bring your arms beside you and let's just bring your right cheek to the mat. So for locust pose, the arms are beside you. On an inhale, we're gonna lift the chest and this might be your locust or if you wanna add the feet, draw the feet up. Heart is forward, gaze is forward. Nice even breath. Take an inhale, exhale, lower down, bring the left cheek to the mat, 
bending the knees and windshield wiper the feet back and forth. And then releasing the feet to the mat, we'll go ahead and turn the head so the forehead is facing down. You can take the locust that we just took or you can clasp the hands at the tailbone, press the palms down, inhale, lift the chest, lift the heart. And then again, you have the option to add the feet. Nice low back stretch. Take an inhale, exhale, lower down, bring the right cheek back to the mat, bend at the knees, and then bring the feet back and forth, windshield wiping the feet. Bringing the feet back down to the mat, bring your hands beside the chest, curl the toes under, come up to the knees, lifting the hips, downward facing dog. Bringing the toes together to touch, inhale up on the toes, bend your knees, look forward, step or hop to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, exhaling fold. Inhale, sweep your arms up, bring the palms together, and then exhale, bring the hands to heart center. So we'll add a little balance here. So we're gonna to come to tree pose. So you're gonna turn the right foot out and you can find your tree. So that could be a little kickstand that could bring be the foot at the calf or you can bring the foot all the way up, finding your tree. So you're gonna engage the core, drawing in through the spine, press the knee open and make sure you're not dumping into this left hip, really engage. Interlace the fingers and press your palms down. Bring the arms up on the inhale. Nice stretch. And then release the hands. Gently waving your branches. And then bringing the palms together, bring the hands back to heart center. Turn the knee forward and bring the foot down, winding out that left ankle. Nice job. All right, so we're going to take tree on the other side. Ground down through the right foot. Again, turn the left foot out and then find your tree. So again, mine today is a little kickstand. Yours could be here or all the way up, wherever you are in your practice. Find your spot to gaze. Engaging through the core. Interlace the fingers, press down through the palms. Inhale your arms up, big stretch and release. Gently waving. Coming to stillness, bring the hands back together, drawing them to heart center. Turn the left knee forward, bring the left foot down. Wind out at right ankle. Nice job. All right, let's just find tall mountain for a few breaths. So root down through the floor, through the mat. Bring your arms beside you, palms turned out. Soften the gaze or gently close your eyes. Find your breath. Take an inhale. And then exhale softly blink the eyes open. So we're gonna to come to pigeon pose at this point. So I just wanna let you know, you have some options with pigeon. I'm gonna cue resting pigeon. If that is not your thing, I know most of you know the, um, gosh, I can't think of the word, modifications. You can come down, you can do seated pigeon or you can do reclined pigeon. So we're gonna make our way back to a downward facing dog. If you're gonna come down on the mat and do one of your versions of pigeon, this is your spot, so just make your way down. If you're taking a uh, sleeping pigeon, downward facing dog. So we find our dog. Let's inhale the right leg up, bend your knee, 
Flex your foot, drawing the right heel towards the glute. Just opening the hip. I love this stretch. Some people hate it. I love it. Straighten your right leg. Turn the toes down and square off the hips first. Then bring the right knee to the right wrist, right ankle to the left wrist. So you can kind of walk the foot over. Um, if you have your towel with you and you have that space underneath of the right hip, tuck your towel in. So we have our hands beside, uh, underneath the shoulders. Let's just add a heart opening here. So let's inhale, open the chest, just a proud robin even. See all the robins, you got the big bellies right now. And then take an inhale, and then exhale gently, walk the hands forward, finding your resting pigeon. Keeping the right foot flexed. You can be on your forearms. Or you can come all the way down to the mat. Finding your breath. So you have some options here. You can stay here in resting pigeon. If you want to add the quad stretch, you can come up onto the hands, start walking them back towards the shin, bend that left knee and reach the left hand back, pressing the foot into the hand, drawing the heel towards the glute. Finding your breath. One more breath. We're gonna release that left foot. If you're in resting pigeon, now you can walk the hands back. Curling the left toes under, lift up, press that right leg up. Oh, this feels so good, three-legged dog. Wind out your hip. And then we'll bring the right foot down. Let's press into downward facing dog. Take an inhale through the nose. Exhaling through the mouth. Other side, let's inhale the left leg up. Bend the knee and flex the foot. Keep your gaze forward here. And then we'll straighten the left leg, turn the toes down, get the hips squared up first, and then bring the left knee to the left wrist, left ankle to the right wrist. So if you need to, use the hand. Walk the shin just a little bit further. It kind of intensifies the stretch. Tuck your uh, towel here if you need it. Let's bring our hands between the knee and the foot. Let's take a nice inhale, open. And then exhale, fold forward. And then come into your resting pigeon. Find the breath. If you're feeling any tension in that left hip, focus your breath to the tightness that you're feeling to release it. We'll add the quad stretch. So again, you're welcome to stay here. If you wanna to come to the quad stretch, walk the hands back to the shin. Bend your right leg and then bring that right hand around. Reach for the foot, draw the heel to the glute. Again, we're using our breath. One more breath. If you're in that quad stretch, release the right foot, bring the right hand around. If you're in resting pigeon, walk the hands back. Curl the right toes under, lift the leg, press your left leg up, ah, three-legged dog. Circle out the left to, And then we're gonna bring the left foot down by the right, pressing into our last downward facing dog. Take an inhale and then exhale. Come down onto the knees, sit over to one side and swing the feet around in front of you. 
Let's make our way to cobbler's pose. So bringing the soles of the feet together, drawing the heels in, sit up nice and tall. Interlace the fingers around the toes. And then take a nice inhale. And then gently release on the exhale, walking the hands out, coming onto spider fingers. It feels so good on the low back. Breathing into the stretch. Start walking the hands back in towards the feet. We're gonna leave this left leg drawn in and we're gonna extend the right leg out. So we're gonna turn the torso towards the kneecap. You can use your towel down here if you have it and you need it, you need a little assistance, but we'll turn our torso towards the kneecap. Inhale the arms up and then exhale, fold over the right knee, flexing the right toes, reaching for the calf, the shin to the feet. And you want to think, inhale, lengthen over the leg. Exhale, fold deeper. Inhaling, lengthen. Exhaling, soften. Inhale, your arms up. Exhale, release, turning the torso towards me. So you have some options here. We're gonna take a side stretch. You can come down onto the forearm. You can reach for the instep of the right foot, either way. We're gonna bring that left arm up and over the ear. So you're reaching for the pinky toe side of the foot and you're gonna peek up at the seal. So this could be good for you. Just coming down like this could be good for you. Breathing into that side body stretch. Inhale, come up, take an exhale, swap out the feet, right heel draws in, left leg extends out long. Let's turn the torso towards the left kneecap, sit up nice and tall, and inhale your arms up, exhale, fold over the left kneecap, reaching for the calf, the shin of the foot, flexing the left toes, breathing into the stretch. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, soften. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, release, turning the torso towards center. Let's take the left hand again. You can come down onto the forearm or you can reach for the instep of the foot. We're gonna bring that right arm up and over the ear. Nice side body stretch, reaching for the pinky toe side of the foot, peeking up under that arm. Inhaling the arms up. Take an exhale and let's make our way to staff pose. So our legs are extended out long, flexing the feet. One nice forward fold to end with here. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold deeper. Inhale, the arms up, exhale, release. We're gonna to come to bridge pose, so bend the knees, draw the feet in, and then we'll make our way down onto the mat. So for bridge pose, you have options with the arms. You can do robot arms, or you can clasp the hands under the tailbone. Either way is fine. So let's crawl the heels in towards the glutes, press through the feet, Lifting the hip pointers up, you can stay with these robot arms using the forearms or the tops of the arms for support, 
or you can clasp the hands underneath the tailbone, getting a shoulder stretch at the same time. Finding your breath. Two more breaths. If you have the hands clasped, slowly release them and let the hips fall down. And then bring your heels out to the edges of the mat and we're gonna gently windshield wiper the knees back and forth. Don't rush through this, it's so yummy. And then bringing the knees back to center. Let's plant the feet on the mat. You're just gonna press through the feet. I want you to shift your hips over to the left slightly, drop your knees over to the right and bring your arms to cactus arms for a supine twist. Shifting your gaze to the left. Bringing the knees back to center, head back to center. Press through the feet, lift the hips just a little bit, shift your hips to the right and let your knees drop over to the left. I just think it's a little more comfortable if you shift your hips first and then shift your gaze over to the right. You can bring your left hand to the top of the knees. It gives you a little bit more. I always like to end the class with a nice supine twist. And then bringing the knees back to center, draw the knees in towards your chest and flex your feet. Wrap the arms around the shins, give yourself a squeeze. Bring the forehead to the knees, squeezing the eyelids tight, taking an inhale. Exhale, releasing it all out, softening into the mat, finding that stability. Taking a moment to release any tension that might be left from the practice. Just take a little body scan. Coming back to that feeling of center and calmness that we started the practice with. Take a few moments to reconnect with the stability that resides in each of us. Relaxing the body, bringing awareness to the face, softening the jaw, softening the shoulders. Bringing some awareness to the elbows and to the wrists. Relaxing the fingers. Bringing awareness to our heart center. Softening through the belly. Relaxing the low back. Bringing awareness to the knees, to the ankles, and to the feet. Giving the toes just a little scrunch and then releasing them. Bringing awareness to the calves, to the backs of the thighs, to the low back, to the shoulder blades, 
bringing awareness back to the heart center. Releasing the tongue from the roof of the mouth. Softening the forehead. And then take an inhale from the toes to the crown of the head. And then exhale from the crown of the head to the toes. Take an inhale from the toes to the crown. And then as you exhale, back down to the toes, soften into the mat. Taking a few moments to relax and rest. I have a little poem to read called Allowing. Once we release the tension around how we think things should be, things can finally bloom into what they were meant to be. Quit your self-improvement projects. Let your loved ones be who they are. And open the gate that sets your heart free to skip like a child out and up into the world. Rest here, knowing that everything is as it should be, feeling the dawn inside of you, holding promise and adventure. Slowly bring your awareness back to the room. Begin to wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. Winding out the ankles and winding out the wrists. Taking one last full body stretch, extend the arms overhead and press your toes towards the front of the room and take a nice inhale Exhaling, drawing the knees in, rolling over onto your right side, cradling your head in your right arm. And just take a moment to thank yourself for showing up on your mat today, taking a little time out for yourself. And then coming back to our affirmation about adaptability. Adaptability is my power. I am adaptable. I am flexible. I am easygoing. I welcome change with ease and an open mind. I am adaptable. And then go ahead and make your way up to a seated position with hands at heart and center and eyes softly closed. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me. Maybe you take your adaptability off the mat with you for whatever life throws you this weekend, because I know my life's a big puzzle and the pieces just go up in the air. So just be thankful for that chaos. Become adaptable. And then we'll end today with travel light, live light, spread the light, and be the light. Thumbs to our third eye, center of our intuition. Let's bow our heads and say, Namaste.
thank you all for coming today. I truly appreciate it. I love seeing everybody. Can't wait to see you back in the studio. Ann and I are busy formulating plans and we're ready. We're ready for us to see all of you. So have a great weekend. Namaste. Thanks. Bye-bye.